Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to The Witness. Now, in the last episode, we finished up with the top of the desert area, and we were about to go in through the door. We did some of the environment puzzles around, and uh, we were working with these light puzzles, where it would show you the puzzle, the solution to the puzzle, if you line up the light correctly. Now, in here... Ah, I see. So in here, we actually have a control, that's to turn it off, yeah. We have a control for the light. This one will give us the solution. So right here, the sun shows us, sorry about the uh, steam notifications. The sun shows us that it goes like that. And then this light shows us that it goes like that. So it should be like this. There we go. Uh, this one, the sun shows us that it goes like that. The light shows us that it starts right there. Nothing on that end. So, there we go. Putting the knowledge of those two together. This one has a line right there, like that. So that's what the light shows us. The sun isn't hitting this one at all. And it's also, okay, so that's where it ends. I can't, I think it went like this, up and then out and around like that, if I'm remembering correctly from the light. It's hard to orient, it's hard, it's hard to orient myself Okay, so it starts here. No, okay, so it starts here. I think it was something, and I know it ends here. Oh, there's actually two starting places, but I think it was like this. No, I forget. All right, so we know that it starts up in the corner and goes all the way down and then over one, at least, at least one. Then, we know, wait, how did I get the light to show on this one? There it is. Then we know, okay, so it starts here, goes over to, I think it's like this, if I'm remembering correctly. Nope, okay. So we know that it ends there. So it goes over to once it goes all the way down. And after going over two, so it's all the way down, over two, like this. There it is. Beautiful. And we're moving on to the next room, which is down the stairs. Well, right away we can see the solution to this one. And uh, we have to reflect it. So even though it looks like it starts on the bottom and ends on the top, it actually starts on the top and ends at the bottom because it's reflected in the water. Here we go. It starts in the middle, goes up and to the right, or to the left, then down, right there. Luckily, you can see the, uh, the orange in the water, so you can just kind of trace and see which one is correct. Uh, I think if I, oh, look at this. In the, so this little orange thing here, it doesn't really line up with anything in the room, but in the water, it does. Like that. And, I believe, like this. Two separate puzzles right there. Beautiful. <clears throat> All right, so this one is lined up, is open. This looks like a hole almost, because the water's so clear. So I should be able to start, nope, it's right here. Goes like that, down. Yeah, it's hard to follow it, for sure. This one is open now. In the water, it shows what? Okay. Ah, so we can't look at this one while we're doing it. So it should start right here, go up down, out, and around. No. 
Okay, so starts there, goes up, then out and around the edge, and down in the middle. Okay. Starts here, up, down in the middle. Dang. Oh, I think it ends down here. There we go. Wait, what did that just unlock? Oh, this one. Looks like we're probably going to need to get it from this angle. Yes. So it starts at the top. Goes down around the left side. Up to the middle. Makes a little mouth and then goes out the side. So starts at the top. Down and around the left side. There we go. And that opens this door. So we're continuing on into the next, and I believe final room. Now this one gets a little complicated. Um, this one changes the water level. The light, I believe, is constant, so you don't have to worry about which light's on, which light's off. But the water level changes. And with the water level changing, you can see the... solutions of some of these so right now this one's about to expose itself so it starts at the bottom goes up into the left all the way through the middle so the bottom up into the left all the way through the middle and finishes at the top there we go let's raise the water again right there because this one was exposed as well. <clears throat> as the water level rises. There we go. So it, go it starts right here. I can actually just do it as it goes. There we go. Okay. That does this one. I'm gonna assume that this one also has to lower. These are very go slow going puzzles. <laughs> because you have to find the right angle and you have to wait for the water to rise and, and fall. This one is not finding the light from where I'm standing. So I'm not sure. It may be from back here that we can see it. Oh no, that wouldn't make any sense. We can't see it at all. Hmm. Maybe we can see it from over there. Let's try rising. Going over here. Might show us from here. <laughs> Wish I could look further down. Oh, there was a quality reset. Well, if we don't see this, then we can at least see this. Can't do anything right now, but as the water rises and reflects Oh, actually, I need to do it when it's coming down, I think. And I need to do it from a different angle as well. Okay, so that never... That never showed. I think I can do it from here, actually. There we go. So as the water lowers... It exposes this path little by little and it goes all the way around like that Ta-da! all right so we need to figure out this one uh, let's get the water moving again we need to go somewhere else there's only a few angles at which you can see this thing. 
That's what's confusing me. Can you see it from over here? Is this where I need to be? Doesn't look like it. Water is not coming on, or the light is not showing up on there. Isn't showing up here. Hmm. Very interesting. Ah, there it is. So it is from this side. Okay, let's pull it down. So it looks like it looks like a pair of pants. It starts on the top of one side. It's either like this or like this. Oops. Oh, okay, maybe like this then. Or like this. There we go. All right, this one, I believe I remember, was from like right here or right here. Or maybe it was like right from, from right next to it. You can't really see here. I think it was like right here that the light shows up, yeah. Oh, no, we need to be over there. All right. Whoa, that went by fast. Okay. So I think... Oh, man, this is going to be hard. Oh, and I can't even work on it if it's... Okay, so we got another sh chance at looking at it. Let's make you go down. We've got... Uh... There's other shadows on it, man. Okay, so it starts at the bottom, goes to the middle, goes back down to the right, and then up around the edge to the top. So, starts at the bottom, goes to the middle, back down to the right, up along the edge to the top. There we go. That activates that light over there, which makes it so I can do this one. Nope. Like this, then? Ta-da! Which I don't believe does anything. This one is the door. Yeah, I think that's a that's an extra one. Or maybe it activated a light over here, I'm not sure. This one, uh I can't remember. It's tricky. I can see some of it in the water right now. I think you can see some of it. I'm not sure. Okay, let's uh, let's move this. I got stuck on this one before and had to look it up. All right, so that is this side. So it looks like. It starts in the bottom, goes up to the top. Okay, so. Oh, there is no start at the bottom, so it has to go like that, up to the top. If I remember correctly, it's like that. Yeah, <laughs> I'm glad I just remembered it because I don't know how you're supposed to find the rest of it, uh, but I, I remember that being like that. From here, We've got a few more puzzles and then we can go up. There's actually a little bit of a quick travel secret back here, which we can't access yet. Well, actually we can't even get to the door uh, yet because we don't have, we need to move the elevator first. So we're gonna do these first. Oh, I like these. So there's like convex and concave things here and you can figure out the puzzles by moving around. This one goes like this. This one, ah, uh, this one's really cool. So you can see it starts here and goes up 
and around like that. And then for the bottom part, you can see it in the reflection. Like this. There you go. So that's half of the beacon. This one, it's got it etched in there, so it's like, oh, I can't, I can't, oh. Oh, I think I remember this. You have to do it from behind. Yeah. So you actually have to memorize this. So, uh, it would be at the bottom and then to the right, which would actually be to the left and then over to the top and then a staircase down and then back around. So, staircase, oh no, that's not going to work. Okay, what did I say? Bottom to the left to the top. Staircase down. To the top, staircase down, and then back around. There we go. And then this is the last one. Got to do some turning, I believe, on this one. Yeah. It's facing all the way down already. There's the light. And from this, we're able to see that it's a quick little... This. Ta-da! And that activates the beacon. Eh, we'll get on it. There's an environmental puzzle that we can do down here, but we'll just come get it afterwards. go and the beacon will begin it looks like it's not actually gonna reach the mountain straight away I believe that this is the one that shoots into the town and then later you can unlock the ability to redirect the laser to the mountain Yes. So as you can see, it's not going to the mountain. It goes into the town. And then I'm able to use a redirection plate later in order to uh, make it actually go to the beacon, the tower on the mountain. But anyway, uh, let's go back down real quick just so we can get that environment puzzle. We'll probably have to come back down here later in the game anyway when we start going through all the obelisks and trying to clean up. Uh, everything that we missed because I'm sure that I missed a bit in here I'm pretty sure there's one in here that I forgot about I just I can't remember through this tunnel And then right here, where you can see at the bottom of the elevator, there's a nice little environment puzzle. Bam! So let's go check on our obelisk and see uh, see how we're doing. Running up the stairs, around here. More stairs. I wonder why those stairs sound so hollow. They sound like metal rather than stone. All right, let's go check on our obelisk, see how it is. We can enter the town for the first time too right now. Might as well. Follow the beacon into the town. We'll do the uh, 
that area next because that is another few simple puzzles. Um, the town beacon is up there. This is kind of like where you're supposed to come. It's a culmination, like after completing m everything else in the game. It's a culmination of all of your knowledge uh, that you've gained throughout the game. As you can see, this would be something if uh, the light inside of there was red, so we can do that later. Um, so as you can see right here, you can actually take this, point it towards the mountain. Actually, no, I think I need to point it like here. And it should redirect the beacon. Oh, it lit up that cloud. 